How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we are checking out one of the most popular Samsung A series smartphone the all new Galaxy A56 and we have got this in awesome olive color which actually looks really really good straight away when i pick this phone it feels extremely comfortable and quite premium to hold thanks to the glass back with a proper metal aluminum frame of course we have got an upgraded camera design compared to last year's Galaxy A55 Earlier all three cameras were placed separately just like other Galaxy phones but now there is this one camera module which fits all the cameras and I think it does look way better compared to last year's A series Samsung phones not only that they have also reduced the weight as well at 197 grams it definitely feels very sleek and lightweight but it still has the same battery size which is 5000 mAh capacity also you get IP67 for water and dust protection and the glass on the front and rear is also protected by Corning Gorilla Glass with Dust Plus which is definitely an awesome thing since it's something we do not get on many phones in this price segment so i'm glad they are providing these flagship exclusive features on a mid-range phone now coming to the front we do have some improvements compared to Galaxy A55 this is a slightly bigger 6.7 inches super amoled display with a 120 hertz refresh rate and a full HD plus resolution Now the bezels are slightly smaller compared to the A55 but what's more impressive about the display is the brightness which is around 1200 nits and it goes all the way up to 1900 with vision booster so you're going to have no issues when it comes to outdoor visibility now if i talk about the software experience on this phone this is where the Galaxy A56 outperforms other phones in the similar price range and the reason why i say this is because it comes with the latest and greatest One UI 7 based on Android 15 and Samsung has also improved the software support for the A series devices from 4 years to 6 years which is just 1 year less than what they offer on their flagship phones talking about the software experience it is running the same software that is currently available on the S25 series of devices which is the One UI 7 and in terms of features you get all the One UI 7 exclusive features including the good lock support and we get ton of useful Galaxy AI features which they are calling it as awesome intelligence Now let me quickly show you some of the best AI features along with some useful tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of One UI 7 and take your Samsung using experience to the next level. First let's talk about one of my favorite feature and that has to be the circle to search where you just need to press and hold on this bar at the bottom and then circle, scribble or tap anywhere on the screen to quickly search anything on Google. You can see when I circle or tap on a specific part, it gives me Google search results instantly based on what I just circled. Not only that, it also lets you identify a song or music playing around you with just a single tap. It's the quickest way to search or find anything on the web. Like this, we have got so many awesome AI features present on this phone, and if you want to check what AI features are available, then simply go into the phone settings, scroll down, and select advanced features. Now go inside intelligent features. Here you can see all the powerful AI features that will make your experience a lot better. First we have got object eraser that helps easily erase unwanted people or objects from images and let me show you how this actually works. If I go to gallery and select any picture, here just click on this AI button and then select object eraser. Then tap on the object that you want to remove from the picture and click on erase. It will completely remove the object in no time. Next when you open the edge panel, you get this new option called AI select. This basically recognizes your phone screen which you're looking at and provides you the set of tools based on your requirement. For example, when you're watching videos on YouTube or any other video platform, it gives you video related options like you can create a GIF or share it with your friends and do lot more. Similarly, if you're looking at a picture, it provides you with options like setting it as your home screen wallpaper, saving it to your notes or extracting any text from that particular image. So, depending on what you're looking at, it shows all the options and you can easily access the ai select feature from the edge panel whenever you want to there is also this useful feature inside the samsung internet browser called read aloud that can read the entire article or a web page for you so when you are in a situation where you don't have enough time to read you can just tap on this ai button and select read aloud to listen to articles like they are your own personal podcast Guys there are even more AI features available here. We have got the best face that lets you fix closed eyes or awkward expressions in your photos by choosing better faces from other frames. Auto trim quickly cuts video down to their best moments and you can adjust the length of the highlights as well. 
so you actually get some really useful AI features on this Galaxy A56. Since the A56 comes with One UI 7 out of the box, even if you have already used a Samsung phone in the past, things might look different when you first boot up your phone. Because One UI 7 has a lot of visual changes. To open the quick settings, you need to swipe from the top right corner and swiping from the left shows all the notifications. This is something new in One UI 7 and if you tap on this pencil icon, you can rearrange the tiles as per your need. So if you want, you can place the brightness slider above the quick toggles or you can increase or decrease the number of rows that you want to appear for quicker access. So each and everything here is fully customizable. If you click on the panel settings, you can choose between two different layouts. Together option will give you that old quick settings along with all your notifications in a single swipe. And there is an option that lets you access the quick settings from the left side. So this is the all new control center you get on this phone. Next, let me show you a couple of home screen customizations. Did you know you can enlarge folders to directly open applications in one click without having to open the folder first? You need to long press and you get the option to enlarge any folders that are present on your home screen. Not only this, you also get plenty of new and useful widgets in One UI 7 and the best part is it lets you resize widgets in different sizes. You can make it as big as you want or change it into a pill shape to make your home screen look less cluttered. If you go into the widget section, you can see all the new and redesigned widgets that I think look really really good. Now let's talk about the now bar. This is something which Samsung has introduced with One UI 7 and when you play any music on your phone, you can see the now bar in the lock screen with music controls. When you tap, you get a bigger preview with the album art and I think it looks really cool on the lock screen. It also works for other activities like voice recordings, timers, maps, Bixby routines and it even shows the live football scores as well. So you can swipe over different activities and the best part is it also shows up in the status bar. You can configure the now bar settings by going into the lock screen and AOD, select now bar and here you can choose what type of activities to appear in your now bar. You can also customize the app drawer. Now Samsung lets you choose between the vertical or horizontal view. Just tap on the three dots button and change the order from custom to alphabetical. Now you'll have access to the vertical drawer which we all have been waiting for on a Samsung phone for a long time. In case you're not comfortable with this, you can go back to the horizontal view by just selecting the custom order. Next, if you talk about the lock screen customization, when you long press and unlock your phone, you get some brand new clock faces to customize your clock. You can change the color, adjust the thickness and there are some new clock styles they have added in One UI 7. So you can customize and choose whatever you like and make your lock screen stand out. Since we are talking about customization, one official Samsung app you should definitely install on this phone is the GoodLock application. And the model which I'm talking about is the Home app. So just make sure you download the latest version for which you will find a direct link in the description below. Once done, now just go into the home screen settings, scroll down and below you'll see more customizations. Just tap on it and it will open the home up module. Here you can change the icon size, adjust the background blur, change the home screen grid, disable the dock. But what's new here is this DIY home screen option. You simply need to go ahead and enable this feature. Once that is done, now go back to the home screen and when you long press, you get this new DIY home option. And when you click on it, it lets you freely move the app icons and the widgets wherever you want on the home screen irrespective of the grid size or the current layout. You can move the icons and place them anywhere you want, move the widgets too, change the orientation of the app folders and widgets. You can literally do anything with the home screen as you wish without any restrictions. So this is the level of customization Samsung is offering with the One UI 7 and in case you want to go back to the default home screen setup, Again, go inside the home up module and disable the DIY home screen option. Not only this, we have even more customizations. If you go to gesture settings, then select home screen animation. Here you can actually tweak the animation style and there are a bunch of different presets that you can choose from. We have got classic, elegance, dynamic, suite and simple tuning. Dynamic will give a bit faster but snappier animations. And when you select suite, the animations will be a lot smoother but a bit slow. So depending on your requirement, you can choose whatever style you like and if you go into the advanced tuning, here you can individually tweak each and every animation setting to further enhance and customize as per your need. Guys, this is something which you won't find on any other Android phone. One UI 7 offers insane level of customization and freedom. 
Samsung phones have one of the best displays you can get on any smartphone and even though the Galaxy A56 has this gorgeous AMOLED screen, did you know you can add more vibrancy and color saturation to make it look even better? All you need to do is just head over to your phone settings, go into display, scroll down and here you will get this option that says screen mode. Simply go inside and by default it is set to vivid. If you want to have more natural colors, then you can set it to natural. But if you are someone who prefers more saturation and vividness, click on advanced settings and here you will get this vividness slider. Just crank it all the way to get more saturated and vibrant colors that will make your phone's display look a lot better. This is something which is new and recently added to Samsung phones. If I press and hold the power button, it opens Bixby instead of the power off menu. To change this, go to your settings and search for the side button. Here you simply need to change that configuration to the power off button. You can also configure the double press action. If you double press the power key, it opens the camera but you can easily change it to open any of your favorite applications. Next, let me show you one interesting gesture that simplifies the process of opening apps in a split screen or a pop-up window. Right now, I am in the Play Store and if I want to open Twitter or other application, I just need to swipe with my two fingers like this and it opens the split screen window. If I swipe from the top right, it opens that application in a pop-up window. I think this is the quickest way to open apps in a split screen or a pop-up view. To enable these gestures on your phone, go to settings, select advanced features and then select labs. Here you will see something called swipe for split screen and swipe for pop-up window. And what it does is, it allows all the apps to open in a split screen view even if it is not supported by default. When I press the power button, I get one additional option called lockdown mode which you probably don't have. What it does is, it disables your fingerprint and all other biometrics. It also blocks all notifications from appearing on the lock screen. So if you are away from your phone, then no one will able to see your notifications which you may have received. The only way to unlock it is by entering the 4 digit pin. To enable this, go to settings, go into lock screen and always on display. Here you will find something called secure lock settings. Just select that and turn on this option called show lockdown mode. It's like a safety measure which you can activate when you are away from your phone. There is also an extra battery protection feature which you need to enable in order to protect your phone's battery. When you are in the settings page, go inside battery, select battery protection. Here we have three different levels of battery protection. If you choose the basic one, when your battery is charged to 100%, it will stop charging until the battery drops down to 95%. Then we have the adaptive mode which will ensure that your phone slowly charges to 100% just before you wake up. Finally, there is this maximum protection which will stop charging your device when it reaches 80 to 95%. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the level of protection to maintain your phone's battery health. Next, if you talk about cameras, did you know there is a hidden camera menu that can only be accessed once you download the camera assistant app from the Galaxy Store. It's an official Samsung app that is completely free to download. Once installed, go to your camera, click on settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will find this new menu called camera assistant. This will unlock some powerful camera features and the first thing you can enable is this additional 2x toggle which will now appear in the viewfinder when clicking pictures. Picture softening can reduce the sharpening effect which we usually see on Samsung devices. You can improve the shutter speed to take pictures as soon as you press the shutter button. Not only this, there is also an option to prioritize focus over speed and you get a bunch of powerful camera features inside this hidden menu which you can enable by installing the camera assistant app on your phone. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features for the Galaxy A56. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.